Well, as the remains of Nate move up to the eastern seaboard, we're watching this area out here in the Montana, Wyoming, Idaho area. This air is up at 18,000 feet, it's about 20 degrees cooler than the air over us. So it's gonna come south fast, it's gonna drop down to Earth's surface, and we're gonna get us a nice little cold front through the area. And satellite radar, we just don't have a great amount to talk about in the state of Texas. We've got nice weather. It's been warmer than normal. We've had dry air to deal with that heats more rapidly. And we're seeing our temperatures now ease on down through the 70s. Still got 80 at Waco. They were up 90 today. Winds are sustained from the south and southeast about three to 12 miles per hour. Future track just brings the numbers down and that's all we're gonna do is see them cool off and we'll be in the 60s and the 70s tomorrow morning, but we'll heat back up in the 80s and 90s tomorrow afternoon. We'll evict in some moisture, but that front's so late, I think we'll evaporate it. We've got at least a percent chance of getting a shower or two, but it'll go through in a hurry. 68, the overnight low into tomorrow, warm 94 with the winds going to the southwest. And then as we get into that frontal, time frame, we'll bring the winds down, we'll shift them on the front, we'll get that one little shot at shower, but cold dry air comes in. We're nice on Tuesday, 57, 73, stay in the 70s a couple days, bounce back in the 80s, but it'll still be very nice. Chris? All right, Bill, thanks so much. We'll